To perform a root cause or fault tree analysis in Engine Room, go to the Analyze menu and click on the tool name. When the study opens, click the Launch button to open up a new tab with the workspace where you will build your tree. Note that you may have to log in again if you haven't done so recently. The dialog prompts you to name your study. In this video, we will create a root cause tree to investigate the reason for the red warning light indicating low tire pressure coming on on the car dashboard. So let's name our study Tire Pressure Root Cause Tree and hit the Create button. Before you start, you might want to zoom in on the workspace to make it easier to see things and to do your work. Now that the space is nice and wide, let's start building the tree. Start by dragging a rectangle block from the left panel onto the workspace. You can resize the block as you wish, and then double click inside it to type in the goal. Say, travel safely. The panel on the left provides various combinations of parent and children blocks to make building the tree faster. Let's drag on the first combination of parent with two children. Resize these blocks and connect them to the first block. In the parent block, enter the problem preventing you from achieving the goal. In this case, the tire pressure alert that goes off. Now you can continue on to the right to map out the causes. So the arrows go from right to left to indicate the causes leading to the problem, which if fixed, leads to the goal. Now fill in the information in each block. The tire pressure alert may have been due to a faulty sensor, or it could be due to the tire pressure actually being low. Beyond that, low tire pressure could have one of three causes. So let's bring in three children blocks and add these reasons, cold weather, normal leakage, or an actual critical leak. Note that this is an evidence-driven investigation, so you will want to add information in the form of annotations or data as you gather evidence. For instance, you might add a note to the alert block to say that this was an observed event. You can use the plus sign below the block to add a text box, or double click or drag a text box in from the left. Format the text box as you like. For instance, you can make it opaque and fill it with color. And then place it next to the problem block. You also have available blocks named AND and OR, which you can use to indicate causes that are likely to work together or individually to result in the problem. The low tire pressure could be due to a faulty sensor or an actual low tire pressure, so put an OR block in between those two causes. Once again, format the annotation as you like. Make sure to connect all the children to their parent by dragging your cursor from the blue landing target on each child to the target on the parent. Now copy paste the OR block and place it between cold weather and normal leakage. Change this annotation to AND slash OR because each cause is enough by itself to result in the low pressure or they can be working together. Continue building the tree in this manner until you get to a point where the cause is validated or adding more detail has little value. Again, add notes to the tree to help clarify, validate, or rule out each cause. You can add question marks to denote theories which have not yet been tested, and red X's to strike out verified non-causes. So this was a quick demonstration of a root cause tree. Go ahead and try it out on your own.